Hello, this is Mr. Beck. I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. This uh, lesson is designed for a group of seventh grade students. Um, however, if you're interested in learning how the blender works, uh, it may be worth your time. In the first video, we created a model. We went in, we used sculpting brushes to sculpt uh, a basic face. Um, this is a cube that's had multi-resolution added to it by using the wrench over in the top right-hand corner. And you can see we've added a modifier, the multi-resolution modifier. And we've sculpted it using various brushes. Okay, that first video can be found on my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to add motion. Okay, and in the third video, we'll add hair. And eventually, this monster will become a head-banging monster. We'll have hair flying all over the place. It'll be pretty cool. Um, okay, so uh, let's, let's get into that then. So we've got our... Our monster here and what we want to do is we're going to add a series of armatures to this two armatures we're going to animate the armatures and then we're going to tell the head to follow the animation of the armature okay they're called bones so we're gonna to have to add one and we're gonna to want to add it to the center of our model now down here at the bottom we've got this red cursor all right um, this red cursor is where all the action takes place so we want that red cursor to be right on our model so I'm gonna come down here to sculpt mode and I'm going to put it into object mode all right I'm gonna right click on my model that I have my face and I'm gonna hit shift s okay and uh, I'm gonna say okay I want the cursor to snap shift s is snap snap cursor to center of selected items that's what we want we want the cursor to go to the center of the selected item boom and you can see now that red and white cursor is now right in the center of our selected item which is our monster head okay so um, once we've got it there I'm gonna go add and we're gonna add that armature armature and we choose single bone now by clicking that you may or may not depending on what your model looks like see it okay it may be added inside the head so that you can't see it because the head is sort of blocking your view um, but we'll fix that I'm gonna hit on the keyboard Z uh, Z is in Zulu to put us into uh, wireframe mode And uh, okay, so now we can see everything and I can right click on the head or I can right click on the bone. I'm going to hit G to grab the bone. G is in golf and then Z once again is in Zulu. So I'm going to grab it and I'm going to force it to move along the Z axis and I'm going to bring it down so it's just underneath the head and it's positioned where the neck would be. Okay, and you can see it's a little low right now. So I'm going to hit G again and then Z and I'm gonna to try to get it as close as I can so that the top of my armature meets the bottom okay of my model alright now we're gonna go into edit mode so I'm gonna come down here where it says object mode and one option is just to click on object mode and choose edit mode okay and I'm going to right click on the top of the armature so that it's highlighted you can see it's it's a brighter orange okay and I'm gonna hit E and E will extrude that and I'm gonna extrude it upward alright just like that now if I go into object mode you can see that I have two armatures realistically I've got a uh, one armature that's sort of where the neck should be I've got a joint and then I've got another armature that extends into the model okay the next step is to tie the model to the armature okay so I'm gonna right click on the face and then I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna right click on the armature okay and I'm gonna hit control and then P alright and the nice thing when you hit control P to create a parent relationship between two objects to parent an object in 259 it asks you well which one do you want to parent it's pretty nice about that so I'm gonna say I'm gonna set the parent object to be the bone boom okay now I can uh, take this bone here okay and we're gonna come down at the bottom and we're gonna go into pose mode alright now if you take a look you can see the bone here alright if I right click on the top of that alright um, I can now hit R and the, the head will rotate with the bone just like that 
All right, so um, I'm going to conclude this video here. And if you've got your armature set up so that uh, the model has been parented to it, all right, and you're able to hit R to rotate with the top bone selected and the head moves with it, you are ready to move on to the next video. Thank you for watching.